this is Shane and welcome to video number nine in our series uh, for Microsoft Excel for absolute beginners. Uh, today I want to talk to you about creating a table and when you have a table you can create filters and you can also create pivot tables which is great for analyzing data. Uh, but let's first start with a simple table. A table is nothing but rows of data that have column headings. So let's just come in here and create some real quick column headings. I'll call this salesperson. And we'll call this next column month. Um, I'm going to skip ahead now so you guys can see the finished uh, table. Okay, fast forward through the magic of technology and we now have our table. Uh, and the reason I call it a table again is because we have column headings and we also have rows of data. Now what I've done is I've, I've given us a sample of some typical sales data. We have our sales person, uh, the month they made sales, uh, what region their sales were in, and what their actual sales were. And uh, let's fill in one more column called Commission. And we'll take what we've learned uh, in the previous videos and we'll enter a formula here to determine commission rate. Well, actually the rate, we, we already know it's 10% up here. Um, but this could change over time, but currently it's at 10. So I've made this, uh, a label called Commission Rate and I've given it a value of 0.1. And when you format that to percentage, uh, you get 10%. So we'll use that in our formulas to determine their commission for each sale they made during the month. So to do that, as with any formula, it starts with the equal sign. We want to multiply their sales, and I'll click on that now, times the commission rate. Our time symbol is the asterisk. And I'm going to click on C1. Now, remember our absolute cell references? We want to lock cell C1 into our formula so that it always references this exact cell, C1. And to do that, we use the F4 key. So by pressing the F4 key once, you'll notice now that the dollar signs drop in beside C, and they also drop in beside 1. And that tells us that we're locking to that column and row. So when I press enter, we get our commission. So now, because I've used, I've locked to that cell, I can drag my formula all the way down for the rest of my table. And now we have each person's commissions. Um, the final step in making this a table is to actually select the entire set of data including the column headings and if you notice up here in the ribbon under the home part um, there is a section called format as table and if you click on that you'll get a drop down showing you all the different styles you can use uh, i'm kind of partial to the dark colors so i'm going to click on this dark blue um, over here and it's asking me to confirm that this is where my table is and it's asking me does my table have headers yes it does so I will leave that checked and I'll click on OK and now when I click away we have this nice formatted table and you may be asking yourself what are these arrows that have been inserted out beside each column heading well these are called filters and uh, we'll get to filters in the next video but for now, just know that we have set up a table, we've entered our column headings, we then plugged in some random data just, for, just to have some data. We also created a calculated formula over here for commissions based on the commission rate. And the beauty of that is if we wanted to play a what if, what if commission rates was instead of 10%, 15, all I have to do is change this one cell to 0.15, press enter, and we immediately see their commissions reflected as soon as I press the enter key. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, and then we finally formatted 
our table as a table. So Excel would recognize it as a table. And that's important moving forward, uh, mainly for filters, which we'll get to next, and then move on to pivot tables uh, in the next video. So a lot more to come. Stay tuned, and we'll talk to you guys then.